Hi everyone. Sorry about my crazy hair. But let me show you what I'm gonna do today. So my tomatoes are getting pretty big and it's time to tie them up. I actually have some tomatoes. Woohoo! So exciting. So I'm gonna show you how I do this. So my dad was working with wood for a while and he cut me this kind of pieces wooden pieces and then sharpened the edge of it so it's easier to put in the ground and I usually put it right next to the tomato and push it in if your earth is not really hard it will go in good if it is you grab a hammer hammer down I have really tall sticks because my tomatoes tend to grow tall. Okay, so I did some of them. As you saw, I had to use a hammer. I still have more tomatoes in the back to do, but this is how they look. I reuse the same sticks every year. If you guys wondering what kind of tomatoes I have, most of them are early grilled tomatoes. I have a few that are beefsteak. I think that's what it's called. So the next thing I'm going to do I'm gonna use this wine to tie my tomatoes. Okay, so we finished tying them up. My tomatoes, they're looking good. My lavender, I harvested my lavender today too. Let me show you around a little bit more. My peppers, I've seen them, they're doing good. Now, this is my pickling pickles. I don't know, they're not doing so pink. This is my cucumbers. They're doing really good. So I don't know, we'll see how they're going to be. This is my black currant. I have a lot of currant. I mean, we had to tie these bushes up because they were just falling over. All these berries. Awesome. Well, this is my video today on how to tie your tomatoes up. You also can use instead of sticks, let me show you. I have this metal piece that I stuck into put with my cucumbers. You can use that as alternative, then you don't have to tie them up. But if you don't, if you don't tie them, they'll fall over. In the next video, I want to show you how to prune tomatoes. But that's next time. Thank you for watching me. Like and subscribe. Bye.